Welcome back to the Art Cubics channel. This is me and Flash again here, and today we'll be solving this five by half cube. Now, don't get nervous, it's easy, trust me. So first, I, like always, let's scramble it up. So, the first step out of three is to solve these nine squares here, the center, on this side, and on all the rest of the sides. It'll take a long time, but when you practice, it'll be three minutes, I guess. So first, we'll do the white square. Here is a white piece. You move it up, so it's here. And then you do the rest, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this one is also, it's an edge piece of the center piece. Imagine this is a three by three. This is an edge piece. Then. First, you move the edge pieces here, like that. Two edge pieces and one center piece. Here's another edge piece. Here's our side. You move it here, like this, and then you move the edge piece here and move it up to this layer. Three edge pieces. The last edge piece is here, there. Again, you move this and then move it up. You got the cross. Now, as I taught you in the three by three tutorial, you put this corner piece of the centerpiece here. You move this up, put this down, move this in and up. You have it. Again, this one here. Move it away, move this down, in, and up you got this just two more this one goes here again like i told you in the three by three away down in and up just need one more here you move it so that they're all on one side now this one needs to go here and one last time away down, in, and up. You've solved the white centerpiece. In a 3x3, three three, you already have it done. So this is one extra step for you to do. Next, it's the yellow one. Again, here it's a little different. You form a strip here, and then put it on the first layer. But first, you have to have two edge pieces. here and here to put the two strips here so first the edge pieces here's an edge piece for instance you put it up but then you've destroyed this you can't do that so you put it up turn this side and then fix the white center like this it's still here safe because we just moved it away and you can move this freely without destroying these two. Next, here's an edge piece. We need a strip here, so you need to put it here. It's here, and then we put it like this. Again, we've destroyed it, the white side. So we move it like this so that we can move this and fix it. Here we have a strip. Now we're gonna put two more strips to fix this side. So here we have two. We need to move an edge piece like this, the center layer, to form a strip. Here is an edge piece. You need to move it on this level, layer, sorry, like that. So you need to move this here. You can do it freely. You're not gonna destroy any, this one or this one, because these two are opposite. And this layer, has no squares yet. So here you have a strip. You join them together, but you've destroyed this one. So you move it twice, because this is a free strip, and then fix the white side, like this. You got the white side. And two strips of the yellow side. Now for the last strip. Here's the edge piece. We move it again, middle layer. Here's a corner piece. You need to move it here. 
if you move it like this, it's going to be here, not here. That's not what we need. So we turn it like that. So when we move it, it goes on the correct place. Finally, last corner piece of the center piece. You move it here, not here, but here, so that you can just turn it and form the last yellow strip. But now, if you put it up, you'll have to fix the white side. But it's all occupied, so you can't do that. Instead, you do this. You turn it twice here. This already exists. So you put this up. You destroy this yellow and this white. But then, now comes the easy bit. Turn it twice. So that when you put this up, it'll go in the empty spot. And this will go in its spot. So you just turn it once. Then you got the yellow. And you got the white. So these two are finished. Now we need to form the red, blue, orange, and green squares. So first we pick any color. I'll pick red, for instance. So again, we need to form one strip. Here we already have two pieces. Now we need an edge piece here. Here we have an edge piece. We turn it on here and then move it up like that. We got one strip. Then we form the other strips on this side so that then we can move it up. So here is a corner piece of a center piece and an edge piece of a center piece. Here's a corner piece. You put the corner piece up in order to form a strip. So, first of all, we move this, because if we put the corner piece up, we will destroy this strip that we already have. So you move it like that. You move it up, you have the strip, and then you put these two strips together, like this. You got two strips of the red side. Now, the last strip. Here, I got an edge piece, in a corner piece of center pieces. You put first the corner piece up until the edge piece here. We haven't destroyed this, by the way, because this one was free. Then we put this one down in order to then join it with this strip and then join it here. You put it down without destroying it because this one is free. Then you turn, move this here and put it back up forming the last strip we need for red. And then, when this is here and this is here, it's just a matter of two moves to put it in the correct spot. And you've solved the red one. Next, let's do blue. Here, we have an edge piece and a center piece. Here's an edge piece. You don't need to worry about this. Again, you move it up, but you've destroyed this. So you just move this here and then put it back. You haven't destroyed your strip. Now we have these two here. Let's form another strip to put here. We need a corner piece here. We have a corner piece here. So you put this two thirds of a strip here and the corner piece up here. So that when you move this corner piece up, it'll form a strip like that. Don't remember to move this away because then you'll have to fix it the red side. You have a strip here. Again, move it up here. But then you have to turn it twice like this, clockwise or anti-clockwise doesn't matter, and move this down because the red piece, the red sorry side has to be solved. Two strips. Now we need the last one. So, we're going to put this up here. But first of all, we have to put the edge piece of the center piece here. So that when we move this up, this forms a part of a strip. We put it up, but then don't we can move this here and then put this back down. But this will be inefficient because we can move this up and put it once more, like this, anti-clockwise. So that when we put this down, it forms a strip. This might not be in your case, but when you can, efficiency is the best. Now, you just put it up, not like this, 
because then you destroy the red side here. But how I taught you with the yellow centerpiece. You put it here on this side. Now you destroy this and this. But you move this twice. And then blue goes here and red goes here. Like this. Finally, the last two centerpieces. So here is orange, here is green. We'll start by solving orange. And when we finish solving orange, the pieces of green will already be here. So, we have two possibilities of forming a strip, a center strip. This is a center strip. We can put either an edge piece here or an edge piece here. This will be a strip here or a strip there. Here, we already have a strip. So, that is quite good, actually. So, what I would do is in, in order to not to destroy this strip, I would um, put this down here and then just put this strip up so that we don't destroy these two sides. Now we can put this up easily. You put it up and then just take off this one. Unfortunately, we thought we couldn't preserve it, but here it's just look at a corner piece so that I could still have this. Now, I have this one here. One, the center strip. Now, we can do two last strips. Here we have two pieces. If we put it up, we can see that if we put this corner piece down, we'll have a strip. So that's what we'll do. We put it down, and instead of putting these three pieces up, we'll put the entire strip up. Like this. So, we need just one more strip. That's all. So, if we put this down, it will be bad. Because, if we move this up, they'll just exchange. So, first of all, we have to take this on this layer. Or rather, put this on this layer. So, we have to take this here, we we'll put it up, turn twice, and down. We've took this from here. So now, instead of putting this up here, so this will go here, we'll make this going here by pushing it up. Instead of being here, now it's here. Now, let's put it in the upper la la level, sorry. Up, turn twice, and down. So now, instead of being here, we've changed it positions. And now it's here. Finally, we just turn this here, and we can form our last strip. Put this down, and then instead of putting this up, we put the entire strip up. And then we just move up. And you have solved this one, but automatically the green one solves. So you've solved first the white, then the yellow, then the red, then the blue, and then the orange, which automatically solves green. Congratulations, that was the first step. I hope it's easy so far, although it might not be. So, that was the first step out of three on the 5x5. Five five. How do you feel about it? So, this was the first part, and I'm really excited to see you on the second one. Bye!